Hello, this is Ali from SafeNet Has Technical Support. Uh, in this session, I'm going to talk about errors, uh, error numbers that we have uh, for the HASP. Uh, let's start with the errors that you might get during the installation of the runtime uh, or during using the API of runtime install. In order to see the error list of uh, runtime installation API or runtime installation uh, driver, uh, what we would do is to go to uh, C program file SafeNet Sentinel ASP API runtime install and over here we have the uh, the help file in which I can see uh, error messages, a list of error messages that we have uh, for the runtime installation or for the API, or the runtime uh, API installation for example, I can see here that if I have a uh, error of uh, number 7, there is some kind of failure of uh, Windows API function. Again, not always uh, it's uh, something that might lead you to exactly what is the problem, but it might give some hint on what is the problem. Uh, if we are talking about uh, uh, the runtime installation or the runtime installer API. Uh, another thing that I would like to show you here is uh, another important uh, information that you might use uh, and it's uh, the list of which are the drivers that participate uh, when talking about uh, runtime installation. Here we have uh, the information for the hard log, a a a AKS USB uh, sys etc. Uh, each one of them has a, a brief information um, f of uh, what is uh, what is its functionality and where it resides and some other information that you might uh, use. But let's get back to uh, we're talking about errors so now we covered the errors for the runtime installation and uh, let's see other type of errors obviously uh, we can see also errors that we might have during uh, using the Business Studio or using the Business Studio uh, API. So once again I go to C Program File SafeNet Sentinel HASP API but now I'm going to Business Studio Server and over here in the uh, help file I can see uh, the API status uh, code and here I have a, a list of uh, it's not all the list of, of the API of the errors that might uh, be, but it's uh, some important of them. Uh, for instance, uh, C2V file is from cloned machine unable to perform action. That's uh, an example of uh, an error that we might encounter with. Uh, so this might be uh, useful to get some hint what is the problem for the Business Studio API. Uh, next, we go to uh, the activation API. In uh, C program file SafeNet Sentinel HASP API activation, again we have uh, an, app, an help file in which I can find a uh, status code over here. And I get here some of the errors and description of what, what does it mean, fail to load uh, WinINET DLL, for instance, which uh, WinINET DLL obviously is a uh, Windows uh, DLL which allows communication. Uh, so this again might uh, give some hint of what is the issue. Uh, the last error that I would like to talk about, uh, the error that maybe are the most popular, is the runtime, runtime API or as a matter of fact uh, the errors that your end user might uh, encounter with uh, while working with your application uh, if you are using uh, runtime API. Uh, again we'll go to the header file and over here I can see um, the API status code and the description of each uh, number for instance, number 33, which uh, sometimes we can get this uh, uh, this error, communication error between API and the uh, license manager. 
Uh, so once again, it's very important to notice what is the, the error message and to try to understand from the description uh, what might lead to this uh, uh, issue. Um, if you don't, it's, if it's not useful for you, at least you can provide the uh, information uh, to technical support. Thank you for watching.